Are you ready to learn about some of the unsung heroes of Disney animation? Stick around. Hello everyone, I'm George Taylor from Imagine Nerding. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos about Disney parks, Universal parks, Disney history, and book reviews just like this one. If you've done any research into Disney animation, you're probably aware of Disney's Nine Old Men. They sort of ruled the Disney Studios uh, even well after Walt's passing and controlled a lot of what the animation studio put out. Storyline, plot, everything, and who was promoted. And when I mentioned Unsung Heroes, I just got a new book preview, I guess you could call it, based on a book by Mindy Johnson, which was spectacular. Let me, let me show you. Urgh. Big heavy book right here. This is Ink and Paint, The Women of Walt Disney Animation by Mindy Johnson. And we're not gonna talk about this book. We're gonna talk about another book. So as I mentioned in the preview, we're not here to talk about Ink and Paint, The Women of Walt Disney's Animation, which have always had a, not really a hidden past, but not given as much exposure and media attention as some of the male animators. What we're gonna talk about this episode is this. Disney Pencils, Pens and Brushes, A Great Girl's Guide to Disney Animation, written by Mindy Johnson, illustrated by Lorelei Bove. And I have previously reviewed some of Lorelei's work and of course Mindy, everybody should know her. But what surprised me is when I got this, I was like, wait, whoa, whoa, I got a dust jacket and then I got multiple little fold outs here. And I was like, eh, this isn't the whole book. And when I reached out to Disney Public, uh, Disney Publishing, they said this is what's called a folded and gather. Folded and gather publication. So it's a preview, and they assured me they sent me a real copy, but I haven't even looked at this yet, so let's take a look and see what we've got. Pencils, pens, and brushes. All girls are great girls. The great girls of Walt Disney Animation. Oh. Oh, this is really folded together. I gotta be careful with this. Okay, so look, it starts at the beginning. Lillian and Edna, the Mrs. Disney's here for it. Make sure you can see that, there you go. So, gives uh, information about them. Oh, wow. These are great illustrations. Dorothy Ann Blank. Telling great stories. Oh, this is wonderful. Uh, Nelbert, shoot, uh, Schuenard, Schuenard, I always feel like I'm saying that wrong and somebody is going to correct me and that's okay. Schuenard, Schuenard. Uh, anyway, I'm sorry, I'm making myself look stupid. Started the animation school the Walt Disney uh, sent his uh, artist to. Marge Champion. Oh, this is really wonderful. Hazel Sewell, the artistry of ink and paint. And a lot of the early women that worked at the studios were in the ink and paint department, but you had some other women who forged on to other things like Mary Weiser, looking at painting, Kay Summer. Oh, this is great. Sylvia Holland. And these, these women, these artists, all affected all of the films that we've seen. Oh, this is great. Mildred Rossi. And these great posters, great inspirational quotes. Great girls imagine the most marvelous things from monsters to dewdrops on fairies' wings. Gyo Fujikawa, illustrator. Oh, the, the artwork in here is wonderful. Mary Goodrich, I can't wait to jump into this. Grace Huntington. Elizabeth Chambers. Ah, with some of the logos. Of course, Mary Blair. We knew there would be a lot about Mary Blair. Mary Costa, the voice of the princess, or a princess. Great girls know with whatever you do, apply the four Ds to make dreams come true. Oh. To tell me, man, tell a specific artist, draw the movement of each character, the animators. Retta Scott, story artist. Oh, and I did notice this. Uh, Birda Bay uh, to Margo. They list uh, birth dates and when they died, at the time she's still alive, like Ray Medby, 1970 to 2002. Retta Davidson. I'm glad they sent me this folded and gated copy uh, because I can use this for artwork. 
This is great! So you get a timeline of the Disney Studios. This is wonderful, all the way up until uh, Walt's passing, from Walt Disney's birth to Walt's passing. A little thing about how animation is made. And an acknowledgement page, and then about the artists as a whole. With ideas, talent, and hard work too, there's no limit to all great girls can do. This is wonderful. I am so su uh, surprised, not in just, the presentation of this is fantastic. Looks like the information is gonna be really uh, good. This is gonna be a good addition to anyone's personal animation library, as well as you know public libraries or anyone else that wants to know more about animation and a wonderful read for anyone who wants to start researching Disney animation to hear about, to learn about all the contributions from the different people. And it's sort of a good first step to ink and paint, <laughs> which you can see is a massive book. Everybody should know the size of ink and paint, which is a phenomenal work by Mindy Johnson. And I'm great to see this as well. Gosh, I, I really, really like this. So this is due out, I think, sometime in August 2019, so look forward to it. This is going to make a great gift for the aspiring artist. And again, this does more than just uh, the artist, because we saw there were voice actors, March Champion, who did the dancing, and story artists. Uh, this is wonderful. I am really pleased and excited by this book and can't wait to dig into it in earnest. Thank you so much for checking out this extreme preview <laughs> with the folded and gated version of Pencils, Pens, and Brushes by Mindy Johnson and Lorelei Beauvais. I love it. Let me know what you think. Are you excited about this book coming out? Leave me a comment and let me know. I would love to hear from you. I'm George Taylor from Imagine Nerding, and I hope to see you in the parks.